month's theme is Opatrix. Opatrix. everyone it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my TBR for June 2020 if you are new to this channel you don't know this but my mom always picks my TBR and she always has some little theme to go along with the books that she chose this month's theme is opposites attract so she picked 10 books which is a lot so hopefully we're going to actually read some of these but without further ado let us get started so since she chose opposites attract as the theme i'm going to be talking about books in like clumps of two the first pair she chose is black and white so she chose black wings beating by alex london i don't really know how to explain this to be honest i read the synopsis and i was like super confused about what it was even about it talks about like birds of prey and like a brother and sister battling some other people and like they have to go to a cave and i don't know i'm very confused but it sounds like the brother is gay so that's fun pride month but apparently it is a heart-pounding story that lures readers deep into the high stakes tradition of falconry and challenges them to examine what they'd be willing to do in order to protect those lo they love i do know that it's brothers and sisters and they're fighting something I'm assuming birds. And then she chose White Rabbit by Caleb Roerg and this is a thriller book about a guy who is trying to get over his ex-boyfriend. He gets a call from his sister and he ends up going to meet up with her and she's holding a bloody knife in front of her boyfriend and he's dead. She swears she didn't murder him but he knows her well enough to know that she's not telling him the whole truth. So then he ends up having to work with his ex-boyfriend and his sister to try to figure out who murdered the other boyfriend. The next pair of opposites she chose is Light and Dark. So she chose What Light by Jay Asher. I don't know that much about this one other than it takes place at Christmas time. It's a contemporary romance where the girl has to go from origin to California to sell Christmas trees. And she meets a boy there but he has a troubling past. That's all I know. I heard a lot about this when it first came out. A lot of people read it and said it was very average. So... We'll see what I think of it. And then the second one to that pair is The Dark Days Club by Allison Goodman. I don't know much about this other than it's paranormal and Allie from Hardback Hoarders really liked it when she read it. I don't know, it has really pretty end pages though in case you're wondering. The next pair of opposites she chose was Truth and Lies. So the first one is When the Truth Unravels by Ruth Ann Snow. This follows a girl named Ellen and her three friends about to attend prom. Ellen attempted suicide side a couple months ago. The only people who know are her three friends. They decide that they are going to live the dream night at prom, but then Ellen goes missing, so it's up to the three friends to figure out where she went and if she's okay, and it's like the story of that. I have heard nobody talk about this. I've seen it on Twitter before because I follow the author, but that's the only time I've seen anybody talk about it, so I have no idea people's opinions, but I am intrigued. And then the second one to that pair is Lies by T.M. Logan and this is about a man who ends up following his wife and sees her on a little rendezvous with another man and then there's a dead body and this man is trying to kill his whole family and it's like him trying to protect his family. I don't really know. It is, says that it's supposed to be like you can never really trust the people that you're closest to. The next pair is Find and Lost or Lost and Found. So she chose Little Girls Lost by J.A. Curley and this is about a like serial kidnapper, killer, murderer who kidnaps little girls, no bodies are ever found, and then another girl goes missing and the police force kind of turns to this detective that has been off the workforce for a while but he's very good at solving unsolvable mysteries. So he gets recruited to solve the case of these missing girls before it's too late. Again, this is another one that I have never heard anybody talk about so I have no idea people's thoughts and opinions on it but I think I got it from like a thrift store and it was one of those like buy four get one free and my mom handed it to me it was like that sounds good and I was like okay so we're gonna read it and hopefully it's 
is one of those ones. That is actually a good thriller. And then the second one for that pair is Find Her by Lisa Gardner. This is about a girl who went missing. She's found and then five years later she becomes like a vigilante and tries to like save other kidnapped girls. And then she uses that like power to help a detective FBI agent to find a missing girl. They end up finding one of the missing girls that they were looking for but the girl is gagged and tied up but the man who kidnapped her is beside her dead so it's like them trying to figure out what the heck is going on but yeah it's like a kidnappy survivor story thriller. And then the final pair that she chose is Give and Take. So she chose Given to the Sea by Mindy McGuinness. I don't know that much about this. I do know that it's about like a girl who gets sacrificed to the sea but she has to produce this air before she's able to be sacrificed. She hasn't done this yet and she doesn't like human touch so she's like doesn't want to do it. She gets like sent to another kingdom where there's a guy who needs an heir as well and the king is trying to force them together and he's like nah not about it. Woman's rights, you know? <laughs> so I honestly don't know that much about it other than like she's supposed to be sacrificed but she's not because this dude is like, don't do it. I do like Mindy McGinnis though. She wrote Female of the Species and I know that I really loved that book so I'm hoping that I really loved this one too. I think, could be very wrong, but I think that this is her first book that she published. Tell me if I'm wrong, I'm probably wrong. I haven't heard anybody talk about it so I don't know if it's good. That's the theme of this video. Final book in this pair is I Take You by Eliza Kennedy. This is like a chiclet, I believe. And it's like this woman's about to get married, everybody doesn't like her future husband, and she is also like a party girl and she's like, I don't want to leave the party life behind. So she has this one last wild night and it turns into like this whole debacle. Apparently it is very funny because it just says ha 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 in big capital letters. It says this is the funniest book I've read all year. So hopefully I also think that it is the funniest book I've read all year, but I guess we'll see. All right, everybody. So that was my TBR for this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.